Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how you can import a single image into your Unreal Engine level. Now this is a lot more complex than it actually might seem at the first glance because it basically uses a material that is then used through a so-called decal to present the image in the game world. Now decal actually means a pattern or a cutout that you use to transfer some shape or form to another surface. Actually didn't know this word until I started researching this. So it's a printing system that has been imported into the Unreal Engine, which is used for the same purpose of actually adding images, not like a texture, but like a single image. Now I already have the image, which is already recognized as a texture. I'm going to turn it. Uh, I simply imported it by clicking and drag and dropping it from my content browser or my explorer to Unreal. As you can see, it's an image of Virgil that I drew for my game, which is called Meta Virgil, which I'm currently developing. Uh, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, it's going to be a project that will take me some time, but I'm going to use it to present how the decal process or function actually works. Now, as you can see, I already have this image here and the first step to import it into the level would be to turn it into a material. So right click on it and go for create material and it's called Virgil material. That's good. And now we need to edit it so that we can use it in the game world. Double click on it, open the material editor, and there's just a simple function that you need to complete here. You should change the material domain from surface to deferred decal, and then the blend mode from opaque, as you can see already, the image is appearing here. That's my brilliant, brilliant drawing, hand drawing, by the way. Blend mode, you change it to translucent. And now in a second or two, you'll get basically what seems as a basic material and has the pattern of a texture. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to dock it, even though we won't need to use it anymore. The next step will be in the level actual editor where we're going to change or go for a decal that we're going to then apply to the actual level. Once that happens, we'll have that single image, but again, not as a wrapped texture that's across the entire surface of the material. And here you have it, but more as a singular in-game poster, let's call it like that. Because right now we have that material, but we need the decal. You go to get it to place actors and simply search decal. Here it is. I'm going to drag and drop it. As you can see, the green surface represents the place where the same image will appear. There is, besides the regular rotation elements, here is also this purple or dark blue line that represents a place where the same image will be, <laughs> in a lack of a better word, projected, even though it's not an actual projection. So the only thing you need to do from here on out is to place that material into the decal material right here. And here we have it. Here's my completely gorgeous Virgil, the Roman poet, who is seen to be a kind of a figure of a prophet, pre-Christianic prophet, pre-Jesus Christ prophet by the Christian faith. And he is, of course, uh, he, uh, visitor in many, many classical works of art. This is my drawing for of it. Again, a brilliant drawing. And here we have, here's the poster. Now, a lot of people have issues with using that poster on different surfaces. I explored this at length and there is a bunch of things that go into the same process that sometimes create issues, sometimes create bugs, but if I wanted to, for example, add it to the wall, no, not like that. I'm going to undo <laughs> and select the decal. Immediately when I move it, it's, it disappears. 
So I'm going to rotate it so it projects on this on, towards this wall. However, when I place it on the wall itself, it's not there. Instead, I need to rotate it. I figured out this through trial and error, basically. And then move it into the wall space. And then I'll have the same image, but on the other side, as you can see, barely visible. So there is a lot of issues re regarding this, which includes the lighting, because now I have only my single point of light, which is my basic light world sky skylight. Uh, that could be a problem. It could cause problems for the decal, and so could other elements as well. You need to figure that out through your particular level and see how you can change that so that the decal works as you intended to. Right now, for me, it <laughs> works, as you can see, much better on this side than the other. And on this side, it's basically clearly visible. I can scale it down. But on the other side, depending on the light, it's not that great. So you need to check out and figure out your precise lighting and rendering setup to get the decal into the perfect shape and form. However, as you can see, I'm going to add another one here. This is how they actually work in the game. So let's try it out. And here we are. The first one clearly visible. There it is. As you can tell, clear and precise. The second one is again, it's rotated, it's a mirror image, but it has a lot more translucency to it than the first one. So based on your project, on your precise setting, you'll have to figure out how to use decal settings and the light settings, render settings to get the decals into the shape and form you want them to have. But this is the basic process. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, leaving a comment. If you have any questions, there's also a bunch of other ways how you can support me. All of them are in the description below. You can easily ignore those and simply subscribe to my channel, leave a like and be here for the new video. Until then, bye bye and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. See you on my next clip.